Oh god, I walked two steps. Are you kidding me? Oh, there he go. <laughs> Off into the sunset, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> I mean, I can't see him anymore. My character can't see him. So you just saw him go left, and it was just, that's it. <laughs> Obama Snow, get away from me. I know, I heard that thing. You're not coming to get me. What is that? Is that a tree? Item? This is a nice little town. Freezington Town. Nice. <laughs> Freezing town. Oh, horse, horse. Hello, hello, what to have you here, another visitor. I am old man number 735. I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezing Town. <laughs> I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Does it have galaxy brain? Oh, never mind. It's hardly bit. Air's asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the, er, the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People came all the way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you made it to the journey, I must offer you this freezing specialty as a memento. Boat neck sweatshirt. It's a key. A shirt emblemized with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we, you know, we've got a fair share and a fair number left over. The illustration is based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. My voice is not dying. I'm surprised. <clears throat> Hence the unusually sized head. Oh, wow. They're aware. But we, we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. Please stop. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the stat that you buy the fields in the center of our village. Oh uh, no, I think you got the design correct. By the way, while you're here in the ground, Tanger, feel free to lead, let your Pokemon lead out of its ball and take for a stroll. Oh nice. Farewell for now then. Off into the sunset, never to be seen again. Oi. What up, dude? Over here, Jam. Neat. Look at him go. Oh my god, you are slow. Look at him go. Look at him go. You Are you guys hearing the sound effects when he's running? It's super heavy. And with him being so small, I find it hilarious. We should probably get someone faster out. Oh my god, look at him! Man, it's few. He runs so cute. I know, he's a little just like, little, I'm hopping. It's weird how just... <laughs> this little girl decides that I... <laughs> it makes me decide that I don't want to have my Pokemon walk around with me. Hello. Hello, Nebby. Oh, that's Foofy. Oh, Nebby and Foofy. I want to see them fight to their death. You know, I think it was just about... I th when I found Foofy, that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. Ultra wormholes. They explain everything. Item? <laughs> I go around just to re-enter the town from behind to get one item. And then you stuck there. <laughs> I'm in Freezington. I've had the journey there. The Crown Dungeon is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir? Sure. I feel like I'm gonna need this. <laughs> Eight pieces of dynamite ore? Okay. It's actually a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Like its head and the, la and the lack of eyes. And I, oop, hello? Why'd I make you walk two steps just to... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, why do you gotta make me pull out the voice? Why do you gotta make me pull out the Sonya voice? Get ready. Yes, there they are. 
<laughs> These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. <gasps> Wait, Jacob? XD face? <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, I keep asking myself that exact same question. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> if, I, if I had known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. It's called a tundra. <laughs> it's called a tundra. You did not expect the tundra to be cold. <laughs> but here I am, stuck in the crown tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. Like any professor. There are some Pokemon I prefer places where there are no people. You see, Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. This hurts. Don't worry, Alex. It hurts to do it, too. But I've made I'm made a commitment, and that's why I have to do it. <clears throat> the Crown Tundra here is just a place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, <clears throat> then I think I, I thought you said, she said creation tree. I'm like, I found God, time God, space God, and the devil. <laughs> then I heard a certain tree of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? I've clicked on, oh my God. I've approached it three times, game. I've approached it three times. <laughs> You found evidence of the- wait, you found evidence of the- oh, Cobalion? Cobalion? My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all, all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. Somehow. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we could find more evidence to collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. Maybe a cave? And the grassland. <laughs> Maybe where they, like, usually go. <laughs> but this place is wicked cold. It's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Jacob? <clears throat> Think you can try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. God. I'll be waiting in the house there, so I stay in the warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Er, so that I can grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. Yeah, sure. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> squad loud, bitches! Do you believe her? Yeah, same. Now to kill my voice in an entirely different way. What's up, Peeny? Ah, but here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. Oh, <laughs> conveniently, that's part of the statue. <laughs> but no one in this stupid village was like, hmm, two and two together. <laughs> they don't have the galaxy brain like uh, Calyrex does. <laughs> but <laughs> as long as this moment is also something far more important, our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to get a proper air from ports, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about, Jacob. Let me tell you about the PE e exploration team is after. It involves you and me, that's all. <laughs> so, is it really a team? It's like a partnership at all, at best. <laughs> Around here, they got a few ooh, strange and mysterious legends. For example, <clears throat> a huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and Daffy is trying to sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juice and legends. We're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to they've <clears throat> got to them. Well, buddy. Based on the internet, I can tell you that they are all true. <clears throat> and there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. Roar. That's our great noble magnificent goal. Here's a view. You're, even my character's like, bitch, that's part of the statue. <laughs> of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. Yeah, your daughter hates you, I'm sorry. But who knows, they say even chancy meets, uh, meetings can lead to blissy, full of friendships. So here's to a grand adventure, expedition chief. Uh, you're putting a child in charge. <laughs> Obviously. That way if we die, it's, I know it's your fault. <laughs> Look, what do you think it would happen to two of us when... Galavantin off together. That's a word. Galvantula. <laughs> My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. 
<laughs> Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in his room. I didn't for her, Papa. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. God, not not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be either hold down the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> but, which brings me to this. Go on, have it. I'm not gonna put this on, boy. Not, I'm just saying, not putting this on. Not putting this on. Not putting this on. God damn it. God damn it. <clears throat> Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear near I would have a few to change into. So <clears throat> there's enough to give you one. Is there any change or have a kit? By all means. Just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the King of Battle of Horror is written by Peony and old photos attached to it. I am going to scream. <laughs> it's literally in the- You got a picture of it. <laughs> Fairy tale and the King of Bountiful Hearts, but the wooden statue near feels in the middle of it shows no sign of a crown. It's literally in this room. I am going to scream. Legend of Giants. <laughs> I love it. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strings of let the change one. The door remains firmly shut. Let the Pokemon us together living something of snow? Crystal of snow? Oh, want together living crystal of snow. Cryogonal? <clears throat> Alright. Let out okay. No to walk giants heal? Giant's heel? <clears throat> on the distance of the three point path lies a temple where two giants sleep on the temple store or strange words. Do I need the Waylord and uh, Relicant? When the sun re reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. Do I need to be there at a specific time of day? God damn, I hope not. There are legendary clues. There are legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. <laughs> First off, why not have a good look at what clue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? This is like this king spawns in its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deer deep. So if I had to name the expedition, I'd call it The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. I like it. It has a good ring to it. There's a very <laughs> I like how many camera angles they're showing for this crown. Like they're just like, you better you, if you miss this, you're stupid. <laughs> Even my character's like, I'm looking at it. Boy, how did you... <laughs> I find it so funny. There's <laughs> a great big statue of it banging in the middle of a village. No, its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Yes. Did I change right in front of him? Oh my god. All set. Time to investigate the legend surrounding... Ah, I've had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. He's so hyper. I love it. Alright. Oh, this is a thing. <laughs> hey, Chief, my pillow's caught. I'm going to scream. Your pillow. <laughs> Oi, listen, Chief. I got some wisdom in the park. Did you literally just, like, steal the top of the statue's head? You can put your head on it and have a kit. It's a pillow. Fortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I want to have a look around the town for some- You literally stole private property. <laughs> you li- <laughs> Can I have it? Come off it. You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? It's a rock. <laughs> or wood. Whatever to say. It looks like a rock, but it's probably wood, like they said. And that's a lot even come from you, Chief. I mean, if it's made of wood and if it's in the snow, wouldn't it, like, get really, like, you know, like, rotten? <laughs> mm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? God, Ultra Mega, seriously? This is some cool old thing I found. Wait, you really want it, Chief? Who am I to refuse? 
All right, all right, go on then, have it. We better make sure you track that legend down. All right. Oh my god, another cutscene? Oh, okay. Wasn't I- didn't we already have one of these? <laughs> That's a tree. That's a beam coming from the sky. <laughs> Ruin. The ruins. More beams. <laughs> In case you couldn't put two and two together. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, let's try fitting it. Hopefully I put it on right. Russell Russell. Squonk. Schwonk. How it bounces on top? I have no idea. <clears throat> oh. Hey there. Alright, I guess we're doing that now. Hey, Peony, I already found it. <laughs> It was literally behind us the entire time. <laughs> craw, craw! Seems as if it's a mysterious. Wants to test your strength. You want to ready a Pokeball? Yeah. Uh, I guess just Icicle Crash it. Your grass site. You have worse stats than, like, you're healing me? Okay, thank you. I know your base stats are 180 across the board. You are literally 20 better than a Fiona. This music feels very awkward. I don't know why. Oh, now it's picking up. Too bad I'm gonna kill it before... <laughs> I can't catch it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird how it picks up before, like... I probably could've killed it faster if I had, like, Axel out front. <laughs> it's literally dead, GG. Oh, it's minus one attack and special attack? Damn, they're just like, yeah, we're doing this. Did you have fun? <laughs> round, 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 I bet the people writing the dialogue for this scene were just like, I'm so poetic with words. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like, I'm talking to an animal. <laughs> oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from here. God, this his theme song, I swear, is going to be haunting my dreams. <laughs> Was this now? Were you having a Pokemon bell? Yes. Look at it. Huh? What a mass noggin. Everyone when Calyrex was first announced. <laughs> Crown. Oh, and th there you go. What's this? <clears throat> oh, cool, he dies again. <laughs> He's literally dead again. <laughs> Ah, right, whatever. It's still Peony, I guess. Ah, yes, sturdy boy, just as expected. Hope you doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Oh, I see. You've grasped the situ situation already. Right, very astute of you. He's like, ah. <laughs> his pose is so funny. <laughs> I am Calrix. I am the one. <laughs> I am Calrix. <laughs> I'm the one knows the king of Bountiful Harvest. I borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude toward you for restore my statue. And <laughs> days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect as I, I was able to bring lush vegetation to land and get of the plentiful harvest that year after year. However, since I've met that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even the tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. And now I have lost all of, all but a fraction of my former power. Even my, my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned or some strength to me, at least enough to uh, speak to you by borrowing the body of another. <laughs> now, kind hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. I must know once and, and for all whether the po people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand. But they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. 
They did not recognize you from the statue, like even with the crown. Like seriously, please can't, <clears throat> please can't harm you. I beg you to help me. Oh my God, Beldum, by the Bell. I heard they buffed Beldum by giving a tackle and not take down. <laughs> do I remember? Do I? Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction for our lovely Freezington, after all. I imagine we can see more visitors if only the king were real. <clears throat> ah, human child, I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. <laughs> so how was it? Did they say anything about me? Just that you were a fairy tale. Mm, just as I expected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. Seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I'm the king of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyalty were here for it to return to me, I would regret something of what I've lost. Your loyalty? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me to ride. Alas, though it is... In ancient times, we spent many to get many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where I may be. Even though if we sh should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained well loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers knew something about my currently not so loyal steed. Uh, be in your depth if we could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. Okay, I thought you were about to ask me to talk to everyone, but if it's just one person to go back to, fine. <laughs> if you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. New? His hat. <laughs> Gah! I got snow in my mouth. Huh, Chief, what a massive noggin. Or wait, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. That's normal, apparently. Still, I feel strange. Let me it's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back at the base and get some rest. Sides, it's freezing in and out here. Cool. No one knows the sharpest tools in the shed. No kidding. <laughs> Alright. Village shed. Oh, the door's open now. Alright, never mind. Where is that hole the moment? He went to have a look at the fields in Giant's Bad. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. Field of Giant's Bad is the southeast of village. Okay. Go through Frostpoint Field, keep going to the left. I'm probably gonna get lost anyway. <laughs> you know, I'm still betting I need to cry out, so I'm gonna go catch one. <laughs> From that one thing with the Reggies. Like, my mind's just like, I'm gonna Galactic Brain this, and if I get it right. So there's like 50 of those, I assume, because I think it said 2%, you gain 2%. God, those are Rockman, they're so big. <laughs> I'm going the right way, right? I hope I am. Oh my god, can you don't? Why are they everywhere? <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> Just giant spiders. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't like giant spiders. Like, I like the Pokemon spiders, but still, like, they're just so giant. I'm like, help! I just want this item. Can you let me get this item, please? Appreciated. Get away from me! Wait, are you swimming with me? Oh my god, look at him. He- <laughs> He's just- He's just- <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> no, Mask, don't get away from me. Uh, where are you? Okay, I see. Oh, oh, they're separate? Oh, damn. <clears throat> so that's what they look like. Okay, I wasn't sure what they look like. At least for this one. Alright! Oh my god, look at this friend. He's friend-shaped. 
Lakeside Cave. I'm probably not going where I'm supposed to be going. They are, they're all the same footprint. Do you really need this much evidence? <laughs> oh god, you're fast! <laughs> that scared me a little bit. God, St. Blair, fast! It's like in Battle Revolution how they walk, or like as they walk forward creepily. <laughs> Sir? Would you get off the thing, please? Thank you. No, you didn't see me! You didn't see me! You did not see me! I can't grab the thing! Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. Anyone tell me how to <laughs> ride in circles more clearly? <laughs> god, Bolton are so quick. I'm just chilling, dude! Oh! And I- oop! Oh, I didn't even know I got here so fast. What are those? Fruit? Peaches? Those are some nice butts. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Yum. <gasps> oh no, my Joy-Con's not vibrating. You know it's serious now. <clears throat> hey! We can all be friends here. <laughs> and then our raccoon just comes down like this, like... Oh, or we get to shoot a giant laser beam. That works too. <laughs> hey there. Rotom, stop. Why were they all hit, hurt, trying to attack each other? Cool. That was a thing. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. Listen, I want- You always ruin stuff, Peony, I swear. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, on Chief, there's some breaking news I'm telling you. You're saying in Daiji Burr Pokemon are popping up left and right? That's their poop. There's this pointy feathered one in the wild area. Plus a fire looking one on the Isle of Arbor. And it's fancy graceful one apparently flying around the town crown tundra. Wouldn't it be something if they turned out to be the bird Pokemon that wrote that clue about? Hmm. If that were the case, I think I'd call this expedition something like A Legendary Tree of Legendary Three. A legendary Three. What the hell was Dark Aaron's wrath friend? <laughs> Leave those fur prints all over. I don't know. <laughs> also, aren't Tracking's feet like giant? Like circles. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna, I'm gone and ultra mega completely forgot how when I called you here in the first place. Well, let's do short to sw small stuff to chief. All right, cool, cool. That's a giant tree. Tr. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get. Oh. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'm shaking the tree. Am I doing something? Let me know. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> that is certainly a thing that just occurred. <laughs> he's like, aww. <laughs> he's just trying to chill. He's just like, he broke my face. What the frick? Mash. Mash. Mash to victory. You have... Why would they do that? Why would they do that? <laughs> That's so annoying. I hate... They're so... God. That does so much damage! What level are you? 80? Oh cool, it has a fighting move. <laughs> just what just what I needed. 
That's just an insult. The crit. You do not need it. Just saying. You do not need it. Beating him with sheer power? Question mark? Yeah, that works! That works! <laughs> Burn it. Fuck. I'm going to scream. <clears throat> We're gonna do this steadily, steadily. Beat the Chuckster. I just realized it drops giant berries when it gets hit. <laughs> Alright, we're good. I think we're good. We're definitely safe. Maybe. Really depends on your definition of safe. <laughs> Alright, this should finish it off, maybe? Yes. Thank God. Jeez. The aftershock is about because of. Oh! Oh, hell, you're here! <laughs> hey, how are you doing, Ruby? Good. Alright, well, that was a thing. I should probably heal. <laughs> Seems like the safest decision. So, where can I fly here? Can I fly. Oh, I can fly to here directly? Okay, I'm gonna go. Heal. Oh yeah, so this is all the way down here, damn. Okay, well, I don't know where the Pokemon Center is here, so I'm gonna go to Wetshurst real quick. 